Well, peace be unto you. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Layla Muhammad. Mm -hmm. I am a fifth generation African American Muslim woman. Um, I'm an educator by profession. And over the last couple of decades, I've worked with different Muslim nonprofits and independently as a an advocator for women and children in the community. Perfect. So we have a really limited time. There are a lot of things we can talk with her. She's so wise. But my first and very important question, can you define us integration, assimilation, and inclusion? What is the difference? Which way or which definition will help us better to, to be good in America? I think definitely inclusion. Inclusion. Yes. Uh, I think that it's a danger to integrate, so to speak, because in integrating you have a, a chance of losing yourself. Uh, and I think assimilating is definitely not the thing to do. Yes, ma'am. Uh, because I think that's not American, actually, and it's not uh, Muslim. Hmm. Because Allah said he made us different. And he could have made us all the same. So if he had wanted us all to assimilate and become one, he would have made us true, that way. True, so, true. so I think we should keep our difference. Uh, but I think uh, the best uh, way to be different in a space is to be inclusive. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I include myself into a space or if I open my space to include you into my space, mm -hmm. then it... it, it uh, it lends for a more accurate experience or a more uh, holistic, rich experience. Inclusion, mm -hmm. I think that's what. You mean basically with inclusion, we will be able to learn one another. Exactly. And, 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 and be able to obey our Allah. Because right? yes. that's what he says to us. He, mm -hmm. says, he says he made us different, but he wants us to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. So I personally think uh, I, that uh, we, we, should, we should live those words that I should get to know you on a very simplistic way. Mm -hmm. I should uh, share my favorite African-American Muslim I cooking hope, dish with I, you, I, I and you share yours with me. <laughs> or I can say, Let, let's go and, 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 and teach some girls uh, something about empowerment. True. I think that the Turkish sisters that I've met, yes, I'm going to tell you something that is please, so powerful. Please, we are listening. There are so many Turkish sisters they say, oh, I'm, I have children and I'm a housewife. <laughs> yes, probably. <laughs> no, but that's, yes, this is, that's a good thing. But this is what they say all after that or at the same time. Hmm. But I'm a chemist and I have a PhD. Yes. And I say, wow. Amazing. What a blessing that a PhD chemist or a master's degree in education or a bachelor's degree you are the first teacher of your child. Yes. What a lucky, a blessed child to have that type of intellect to be their mother. Mm -hmm. We all should be so wise to educate ourselves before we become mothers and to understand that we can take a, a, a vacation or a little space, a little time away from the profession. Mm -hmm to give our children that nurturing with that type of intellect. Mm -hmm. Okay, my last question. As a woman, as a Muslim woman, which resources, which thought can help us to be more powerful mm -hmm. in America? I, I think the thought of uh, remaining balanced and understanding that as a Muslim woman, we have rights that are inherent that God has given us, True. but also as an American citizen, as American, we have rights that in our constitution say that these are your inherent rights. And so mm -hmm. there's no conflict of, of, of uh, the, if there's a balance in that you can be a Muslim and you can be an American at the same time. That's, that's the power for the, for the Muslim woman in America, I think. Mm -hmm. That was a great answer. Yeah. Thank you so much for your Thank you. time you share with us. Thank you very Thanks. much.